What's up YouTube, how you doing? Adam here and welcome to the Photo Hub. And in this video, I'm gonna be talking to you about frame rate and shutter speed on a DSLR when taking video. Now this is one of the most common questions I get. People will often say to me, when you're shooting with a DSLR, what frame rate should I use and what shutter speed should I use? Now, these are two completely separate things, but they're also connected at the same time. Now, the actual frame rate is measured in frames per second, and that is the amount of still images that pass every single second. So if you're using a frame rate of 25 frames per second, there's going to be 25 still frames in that particular second, and that's obviously going to continue every single second. Now in terms of the shutter speed, the shutter speed is how long the camera exposes the sensor or the film to the light. If you've got a shutter speed of a 30th of a second, the sensor is going to be exposed to light for a 30th of a second on each one of those particular frames per second. If you've got a shutter speed of a 60th of a second, then the, the, the sensor is going to be exposed to light for a 60th of a second on each and every one of those frames. Now, like I said, they are two completely different things, but they are also interlinked. Now, if you want to have a frame rate of, let's say, 25 frames per second, then the rule that you use to work out your shutter speed is to double it. So, if you've got a frame rate of 25 frames per second, then your shutter speed should be set to 50th of a second. If you've got a frame rate of 30 frames per second, then your shutter speed should be set to a 60th of a second. And again, if you've got a frame rate of 50, then your shutter speed should be set to a hundredth of a second. And that's generally the way you work it out. So when you're setting your camera into manual mode for taking video on your DSLR, if you're running a frame rate of 25 frames per second, set your shutter speed to a 50th of a second. If you're running 30 frames per second, set it to a 60th of a second and let the aperture and the ISO decide the rest of your settings to get the right exposure. Anyway guys, I hope that helped. Uh, let me know if you've got any questions about that in the comments and I will see you all in the next video. See ya.